more. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Hello and welcome to The Beatles, The Bible, and Beyond. I'm Brian Mason. Hi, I'm Ken Mansfield, and I was lucky enough to be handpicked by The Beatles to be their first U.S. manager of their new record company, Apple Records. Join us as we talk about the intersection of Jesus and music while sharing incredible stories from Ken's days in the music industry. Well, John was, in his way, the most dynamic of them, and his dynamic came from a lot of times from his silence. I thought, was I just songwriting with Paul McCartney? <laughs> and George comes over. George Harrison. George Harrison. He said, hey, Ken, when'd you get in? And I, I go, <laughs> There was a wonderful story you told me uh, recently about Ringo and Thanksgiving. <laughs> Billy Preston, we had such a cool history together. Waylon Jennings, Dolly Parton, Leonard Nimoy. How did Ken go from being behind the scenes with the Beatles to partnering with pastors and doing church outreach? My ministering to people was not hitting them over the head how they had to be saved. I would tell my story about my salvation and interesting things along the way that would make them interested in my transition into becoming a Christian. Then they could figure it out for themselves. Ken, you have an incredible, incredible story. To have the privilege of sharing these things with you is real special for me. So I love you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. And uh, that's what God's all about. This is The Beatles, The Bible, and Beyond. Subscribe now 